to be on a major network interviewing huge celebrities, the nation's top leaders, as well as the biggest breaking news. Isn't that what most young journalists aspire of doing? Well, it certainly sounds glamorous, exciting and fun. Guess what? It's a lot of work too. From doing one-minute news updates on GMA Network in the Philippines, Cher Calvin has become one of the top on-camera personalities in one of the biggest TV channels in Los Angeles. I'm the weekend newscaster here at KTLA. I also report three days a week. Uh, I was the morning news anchor for four years here at KTLA and just recently, uh, I would say, got promoted and is now doing the evening news. Cher is one of a small but growing number of Pinoys who are making it in America's television networks. There's at least one, if not three, Filipinos on air every morning here in Los Angeles. At night, we also have quite a bit as well. Um, on the evenings, as far as um, my position as anchor, uh, I'm the only one. Born and raised in New York City, Cher happens to be the daughter of a Pinoy movie star, Roger Calvin. But movies were not part of her career plans. She wanted to become a diplomat. My mother was a, a psychiatrist, my, my late mother. She was a psychiatrist. She, she, she was very cerebral. My father, also a very smart man, um, although he was in show business as well. I think the combination of the two is what produced this. <laughs> it's a journalist. I don't know. Um, a broadcast journalist. I'm not really sure if that's how it happened, but it's not something that I was seeking to be in showbiz or to be on television. My ambition was to do something I found that was that I loved to do, that I was passionate about. And when I was in when I was in college and I was taking political science courses and I was almost finished, you know, I, I wanted to work for the UN. That was the goal, really, was I wanted to be a diplomat. And I just, for some reason, I wasn't. It wasn't satisfying enough for me. I don't know why, and so I took a journalism class and because I love to write, and that's when it clicked. And I, I don't know, it, it's not something I was seeking, it just, that's how it fell, it fell upon my lap, and I said, well, I'm going to go for this. Determined to pursue her journalism career, Cher found herself working for the Fox Network in Las Vegas. I have an agent here um, with IMG, and I've been with this agent since I started my career in the Philippines after two years of experience there. I was able to get an, get an agent here in Los Angeles, or here in the States, really. And so she would send me out every now and then. I would come home, come back to the States, and uh, go on interviews. And all of a sudden, in 2003, I started in Fox, Las Vegas, for two years doing the morning show there. And then in 2005, came here to KTLA. It's a highly competitive field, and Cher has managed to stay abreast with the best of them. What I'm very lucky for having is, is a, a very good support system here at KTLA. That's not something that you're going to find everywhere. And for some reason, that has followed me throughout my career. I've always had a really good support system with my colleagues, and, and, and that's something that is rare, I think. Because it is a very competitive business. If you're out on the field and you're trying to get a story, they're not going to share things with you, which is understandable. It's competition. You're trying to do the best you can for your company. Um, but it is very competitive. And, and sometimes it can be a turnoff. But at the end of the day, if you enjoy what you do, you kind of put that aside and say, I'm just going to keep on going because I love what I do. Being a TV reporter and a news anchor isn't easy. I usually come in a little bit early uh, just because there's some research I have to do to try and suggest a story. So I'll come in maybe 2.45, 2.30. 2.30, 2.45 come in. 3 o'clock we have a meeting. By 3.30 we are out the door. Uh, this is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Out the door and I'm reporting already. And we edit out on the field and you know, but we'll wait, I'll have to write. So I'll write my, my script and my, my story for well, however long it takes. Sometimes it takes 15 minutes, sometimes it takes an hour and 15 minutes. It really depends on the, what kind of video and um, sound I'm dealing with. And uh, then we'll edit the piece and then I go live, usually right at the top of the show. And I'll be reporting live from the field, wherever, whatever story it might be. You know, I've been on the desk. I've been on the desk for so long and in the studio for so long. And now I've been given an opportunity to be out on the field again. And to be able to have both tandems of anchoring and reporting at the same time is not something that everybody does. And it's a skill, I think, that is important as a journalist to have 
is to be able to be out there in the middle of it all. Some of the prominent people that we've covered here at KTLA, because this station has been uh, around for so long and has such great respect amongst uh, politicians and celebrities uh, alike. Uh, I think politician, uh, the politicians that we've covered that I'd like to mention that I've interviewed personally have been Hillary Clinton uh, is one of them. My co-anchor interviewed Barack Obama before he was president. Um, these are, 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 are people that come to us, which is incredible. But it can be dangerous. The Silmar fires last, uh, I think it was October, was it? That was one of the biggest stories I've ever covered and probably one of the most dangerous stories I've ever been on. I was right there at the line, right there where all of the embers are flying and watching the 70 mile per hour winds carry embers over on a, on a hill that wasn't even burning. All of a sudden the entire thing is exploding in flames. And this doing that as the television cameras are rolling and you're live broadcasting this and trying to remain calm. It, 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 was, it, was, it was definitely a challenge, it was exciting, but I thought I was going to die. Cher never considered being a minority as a hindrance to her career. I'm very proud to say that I am Filipino. I will be there for our Kababayan when they have victories and when they fall, um, whatever it might be. And uh, I, I will never deny that I'm Filipino because I know there are a lot of people that will that say that they're Spanish, that they say that they're Hawaiian, that they say whatever it is. And if they ask me if I'm half or if I'm mixed or whatever, I'll tell you right now, I always say that I'm 100% Filipino because that's what I feel I am. And I, and I, I think that it's important as, a, I guess, a person that, it, that people watch on, on television for them to know that, you know, and, and to, to, to blur the lines of, of, of race and, um, and understand that we can do anything. For all of her efforts, Cher Calvin has already won one of the most coveted awards in the TV profession, an Emmy. I think that it's important to keep that ambition alive and to know that if you are passionate about this or even anything, really, uh, you're going to be successful in it.